Hi folks, um, video 2. We're just going to have a quick look at Garmin Basecamp and mapping a simple route using the new route tool. Better than Trip Planner and better than Adventures um, up in your top boxes here. We don't, I don't use them at all. All I use is the new route which is this here. Every map that I do I use this new route. It's easy. Not going to go into any detail, not going to go about shaping points or waypoints or anything like that today. Um, I'll do that on my next one. Basically once you've got the map in front of you and you've planned it then you can start going into detail and making sure it's all okay before you transfer it to your sat nav. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that your sat nav and base camp are married together. Check video one of mine if you've not already had a look and just have a quick flick through it and just make sure that everything's as it should be. I'm not going to go into that because I've already done it. But once you've once you've figured all that out, then you can start trying to map a route. First thing that you need to know is how to navigate around the maps, zooming in and out, panning left and right, because you're going to need them. So zooming in and out, I use the scroll on my mouse, the wheel on the top of my mouse. Um, if you've not got one of them, it's doable, but it's a pain in the arse. You need to use your zoom tool up here. Um, and because you're going to be primarily using insert here to draw the route, if you're having to go back to zoom, to go back to insert, to zoom, to insert, it's it gets a bit of a ball ache. So if you've got a wheel on your mouse, use it. Um, that'll zoom in or out. If you want to pan left, right, up and down, rather than using the hand, which is your pan tool up there, you can actually use the keys on your keyboard, your up, down, left, right arrows, and that will pan up, down, left, right, so even though my mouse is here, I can still zoom in and out, and I can still zoom, I can still pan up, down, left, and right. That's the way that I map. It's just easier like that. You don't have to keep flicking between the, everything on up here. So once you've figured that out, you need to start and make a name for your route. So the way that you do that is by going to your My Collection on your left here and you right click it. You then go down to New List and left click and that drops a new dialog box in here. You'll notice that I've already started mapping my days for next year down in Switzerland. But for ours we're going to call it Day 1. So you label it, whatever you want to label it, Day 1, press Enter and, it's, and it drops it in there as an extra day. If it's highlighted it's, it, that's the one that you need. You need the highlighted one, the one that you want it to be mapping, obviously. The next thing you need to do is you need to start a new route. So you go up to your new route and you left click and it brings up this dialog box. Make sure that your map's right, as I spoke about in the previous video, and make sure your activity is right. Everything will be set already because you've already done all that, nothing changes. Um, so if these are right from the last video, then leave them alone and they're done. Don't need to worry about your start point, don't need to worry about your destination point. Um, that's just complicating things by putting that on there, they don't need to put that on there. Um, as long as this is right and that's right, you can left click on your red cross and get rid of it. And you'll notice straight away that your hand has now become a pen because you've clicked on new route. Okay, so to d draw a basic route, every time you left click from now on in, that is going to drop a point on the road or a point on the map. It doesn't matter where it is on the map, it will drop a point there, even if it's off-road, up a mountain or wherever, it'll it'll try to map you to it. If so, just be very careful where you're dropping points. The best thing that you can do is zoom right in before you drop your point and then you can make sure that, that point is on the road. So I'm going to drop my first point there. That's going to be my starting point. You'll notice that as soon as I've let go, I've clicked the left button. As soon as I've let go, I've now got my pulley cord, which is then going to take me to my next point. So I'm going to zoom back out, and I'm going to scroll up to my next point. Every half a mile, I would say, for dropping route points. Um, on a road like this, it's not so relevant to zoom right in, because you're not going to hit another road by accident, because there isn't one. But just make sure that you are on the road. And the better, say, the easiest way to do it is to zoom back in again. Um, and click your next point. As soon as you click that next point, you'll see that it started to map behind you. Okay, so you zoom back out. You can scroll across half a mile up the road. You're going to zoom back in again, and 
you're going to drop it back again, left click. Every time you left click, it's dropping a little um, black dot. You'll see the black dots here. Each one of them black dots is a root point. We're not going to go into them today, but basically the more root points you've got, the more accurate your map's going to be, especially if you're going around somewhere like London or the Paris Ring Road. Make sure you've got enough. It doesn't matter how many you put in. You can put one, two, three it doesn't matter the more the better really but every half a mile out in sort of like um, the sticks as I call it um, half a mile's fine so you can just map your route to wherever you want to go so you can just carry on so I'm panning with my arrows and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna click then I'm gonna go down here click and it'll just follow the route round it'll follow the road and because there's hardly any other roads on here this is still the fastest way to get here. Um, if you want to manipulate the map to take you on a small minor road, i.e. this one down here, you need to make sure you're dropping routing points in. So I'll do round this little housing estate here because um, I'll show you how to go on with it. So you left click every time, left click, left click, left click, left click, and then you can go round the housing estate Okay, and then you can come back out and carry on. And the more you do, the better it is. It's not going to hurt anything. When you've done, and you've done your route, you've still got your tag on the end here. What you need to do is get rid of your tag. And when you've done your route, to get rid of your tag, you just right click, and that gets rid of your tag. If you want to put some more points in, and you've thought shit I need to put another couple more in I'm not quite there all you need to do is go back to insert which is basically the pen so you go to insert you left click you come back down and I'll show you let me just center the map as soon as you get anywhere near it it will or it should it says and it's not doing why is that insert, oh, there we are, I didn't click insert, um, it will drop a dark circle round, okay, once that dark circle's on, you can left click and you're back to where you were, you can carry on with your route and you can just keep dragging round and extend your route if you needed to and then when you've done, right click and it's gone. If you want to see the whole of your route, see what you've done so far, you double click on your day, whatever day it is, so double left click and it shows you the route as a whole on the screen. And that is basically mapping a basic route. Um, as I say, I'm going to go into how you manipulate the map even further and how you add text to it to show you on the sat nav when you're actually following it which bits you want to see and which bits you don't but that's in another video but actual mapping just get used to click 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 and making sure that you're dropping one in about every half a mile um, and that way the sat nav hasn't got chance to try and recalculate in a different um, area if you like if there's a faster route to do it, it will still calculate a faster route because that's the preferences that you've got set still on your sat nav. The idea is with a shaping point, the more shaping points you've got on a route, the more chance you've got of that sat nav following that route perfectly when you're out on the road and it not having chance to take you off from road and onto a, onto a faster road or, or whatever. If you've only got two shaping points between Scotland and London, there's no way on earth it's going to take you the scenic route that you want to go and it's going to take you the fastest route because that's the preference that you've got set in your sat nav so um, that's it basically it saves itself um, as soon as you click off it's already saved if you do want to save um, you can back it up or import it somewhere or export it to somewhere Basically, if you want to put it onto your sat nav, I'll just show you quickly how you drop that on your sat nav. You get your day one so it's highlighted, and you right click. You go to send to, and in here, usually my sat nav's not collect connected, but in here your sat nav will show as internal storage or it'll show Zoom or whatever. 
click on that and then click your OK and that will automatically send it to your sat nav and I'll show you how to drag it up on your sat nav in a later video once we've planned the route, manipulated it, made sure it's all OK, we've transferred it and then we'll have a look at it on the sat nav in probably another couple of three videos time. Alright, get playing, make sure you're messing about with it and uh, once you've done that I'll show you how to do your shaping points and add any waypoints if you need to. Alright, turn off for now.